In this video, we look at 10 vintage collection figures Hasbro must make in 2020. <laughs> Hi there Star Wars collectors, welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video. As I mentioned in the intro, this is a video all about the figures that I think Hasbro must give us in 2020. Now of course I do realise there is a lot of figures that they could give us. I could list 10 just from The Mandalorian. In fact, I've probably done that in a previous video. But to be fair to all of the Star Wars media, the TV shows, the films, I've tried to pick 10 characters from all across the Star Wars spectrum if you like. But still, all of the characters I mentioned in this video are most definitely ones that we do need, some of which we have needed for a long time. A long time. Now remember, this is my personal list, so these are just my opinions, but I would love to hear your opinions too, so be sure to leave your lists in the comment section below. And I wanna thank everyone who took part in the mini poll that I did on my community tab earlier this week. Some of your suggestions will be shown towards the end of this video. All right, so now you've left a like on this video, we can get straight into my list of the 10 vintage collection figures Hasbro needs to give us in 2020. So in no particular order, first up we have Bib Fortuna. So this is a character that should have been made in the first run of the vintage collection 10 years ago, in my opinion. He is one of the main dudes in the first act of Return of the Jedi. He was an original Kenner figure, which is the kind of the point behind the whole vintage collection in the first place. Plus, just last year, Hasbro released a Jabba's Palace playset. And in my opinion, this just heightens the need for a Bib Fortuna on that vintage style card. To me, it's a glaring hole in the vintage collection and it's a hole that needs to be filled. Moving on to another character that I am absolutely amazed doesn't already exist in the vintage collection. I mean, how can we still not have a Count Dooku? So this is the main bad guy in the Attack of the Clones. Awesome character, awesome bad guy, expertly played by Christopher Lee. So I'm kind of living in hope that he will get released sometime this year, especially as Hasbro are releasing that six inch version. You know, hopefully it's on Hasbro's mind that we need that Count Dooku on that vintage card. Next up, we have our first entry from The Mandalorian, and fans of this channel will know exactly who this is gonna be. It is, of course, the Ugnaught Quill. Now, obviously, it's no secret that I do love The Mandalorian TV show. It is amazing on all sorts of levels, but the best thing for me about the show is the fact that they've just nailed the characters. If you think about the original trilogy, it had countless memorable characters and I feel the Mandalorian really hit the same tone. Quill is a great example of this, and Hasbro really need to get this guy made. Moving on, and we have our first entry from Rogue One, and it is, of course, General Antok Merrick. So I'm sure this character is on many people's lists, but I think as the years go on and Rogue One gets further and further away, I think people kind of forget about the great characters that were in that film, and Antok Merrick is just one of those basically blue leader similar to quill i just think they absolutely nailed this character the look of him that kind of thing really helped rogue one fit into the whole new hope timeline and what makes this guy even more important is that he would be a debut character as hasbro have never actually released him in any scale next up on my list of figures hasbro need to give us in 2020 is captain rex so what with the clone wars season 7 just about to air this would be the perfect time for them to give us a Captain Rex. The thing is, I think that we do have some good news on the horizon that this one is possibly happening. Jason over at yakface.com has pretty much confirmed it if you look at his website for future figures that are coming out. I just hope that they don't opt to repack the Black Series version with the out of scale helmet. It's a little bit too small and the figure would do much better to have some soft goods for his skirt too. So if we get anything like the six inch version, I'll be well happy with that. But I do want it to be on a Clone Wars card back, but with like a realistic image for the artwork. Now you would have thought that with over 160 figures already in the vintage collection, that we would have had a Lobot by now. Again, another character that was in the original Kenner action figure line that still needs to be redone in the vintage collection. Then again, we could do have a new Lepes Bin Lando to go with him, but at least he has had some representation in the vintage trilogy collection. So when thinking of characters from The Empire Strikes Back, Lobot instantly springs to mind as one we desperately need on a vintage style card. 
Now I did mention that this list is trying to include all Star Wars films and TV shows so I decided to go with the Patrol Trooper from Solo A Star Wars Story for my next figure. Again I realise there are countless figures that we do need from the Solo film but everyone loves a trooper and this one being a mix of like a biker scout and a regular stormtrooper he really did catch my eye. Of course he's only in the movie for about 10 seconds but still it's a trooper that we do need in the vintage collection. Failing that, if you wanted to go for a character that got more screen time, we could really do with Beckett, for example. Next is a figure that we have had before in the vintage original trilogy collection, but is in desperate need of an update in my opinion. So this is old Ben Kenobi. So this figure, much like the X-Wing Luke pilot, is an absolute classic character and figure from back in the vintage Kenner line. And as I mentioned, we really do need an update. The figure we got in the 5POA line really does show off how much the face sculpts have improved and if they could just use that head on a new Ben Kenobi figure I'll be very very happy indeed. Now I know that there are so many characters from the Star Wars film that we do still need in the vintage collection. Hammerhead, Snaggletooth spring to mind but I really do think we need an updated Ben. To make it extra special they could even put him on that alternative Kenner card back. Next up from Return of the Jedi, we have Squidhead. Now I do know that there are a fair few figures from Jabba's Palace that either need an update or do exist, but just in another line. So Jiran from the Legacy Collection springs to mind. But Squidhead is another figure from the original Kenner line that needs to be made. The vintage figure itself was an amazing figure. A lovely sculpt, even back, what, 38, 39 years ago, whatever it was now. So just imagine how good they could make him now. Last and certainly not least, I have chosen Moff Gideon with Darksaber from The Mandalorian. So this guy is such a great looking character and one we most definitely want to go with that new troop transport that Hasbro have just released. This guy looks great with his mix of Imperial officer stroke TIE fighter pilot uniform. This guy is a must for me. I'm hoping that Hasbro give us this guy this year because he is most definitely one of the characters that we need from that Mandalorian TV show. And of course, he's a bad guy and everyone likes the bad guys, right? Now, I could only pick 10 for this video, so of course, I have some honorable mentions that didn't quite make the list. Figures like a new Lando Calrissian from The Empire Strikes Back. We are, he's another one that does need an update. Director Krennic from Rogue One, we need him. Dryden Ross from Solo, we need a Death Watch Mandalorian. That character was so, so close to getting on this list. We need an Arc Trooper Fies. We need a Hammerhead. To be honest, the list is endless. But I have tried to pick 10 that I really do think that Hasbro should release in 2020. Anyway, as promised, here are your suggestions from the top three poll that I put out on my community tab. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. And we shall see you on the next one.